type semiconductor. When the trivalent impurities like aluminium, indium, gallium are added to the tetravalent silicon or germanium, then there is a P-type semiconductor is produced. इले trivalent impurities आगिर तक्कंत aluminium, indium अथो gallium इदर लियावद अधरु वन्द अन्न 1 is to 10 days to 8 ratio दरली अधर 10 days to 8 germanium अथो silicon 1 atom of trivalent impurity अन्न silicon अथो germanium इगे add माड़ बेक्कु अधर molten state अलिर तक्कंत germanium अथो silicon इगे 1 is to 10 days to 8 ratio दरली इवंदो trivalent impurity and add madadaga even the p type semiconductor produce agutte so illi now one atom of the indium matho trivalent indium atom and add madidivi silicon alli four valence electrons idave iga ee one indium alli ro one electron silicon alli ro one electron ee pair of the electrons in the covalent bond form agide E pair of the electrons in the covalent bond form again. E pair of the electrons in the covalent bond form again. It is only three electrons matre dava. Fourth electron illa haga illi. Fourth covalent bond is incomplete due to shortage of one electron. Haga gi one no one the excess hole is there. Even the indium atom and add madadaga. हागागी trivalent impurities अन्न add मड़दाग इए valence band अल्ले वंदु whole excess अरित्तु even at absolute zero temperature अधर इत्ति नाव 10 atoms अन्न 10 indium atoms अन्न add मड़दर 10 holes कुड़ excess holes कुड़ बर्तावे हागेने 1000 indium atoms अन्न add मड़दाग अल्ले 1000 holes कुड़ excess आगिरत्तावे valence band अल्ले even at absolute zero temperature Next to now temperature increase मनत्त होदर है Some of the electrons कुड valence band in the conduction band is shipped आक्त है But they leave behind the holes Even the valence band अले holes अने बिट्टो आओ conduction band is shipped आक्त है हाग अधर इल्ली Even the trivalent impurities अन्न tetravalent germanium अथो silicon गा add मनत्त नम यहन गोत्ता गत है वेलेंस बैंड अलिर तक्कंत होल्स नंबर जास्ती दे कंडक्शन बैंड अलिर तक्कंत इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ही कंपेयर मार्डी इधर है हाँ गागी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और होल्स आर दी मेजरिटी चार्ज कैरियर्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर दी माइनरिटी चार्ज कैरियर्स इन द पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर हाँ गागी ये पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर हाँ गा इल्ली an extensive semiconductor in which number of holes more than that of the number of electrons and holes are the positive charge carriers so it is called P type semiconductor याव वंदु extensive semiconductor नल्ली now in the silicon अथो germanium again now trivalent impurities अन्न add मड़त्ती हो आग वेलेंस बैंड अल इर्थक्कंत होल्स नुबर जास्ते रुथे कंडक्शन बैंड अल इर्थक्कंत एलेक्ट्रॉन्स ही कम्पेर माणी इदर है इल्ली होल्स हो मेजर होल्स हो पॉजिटु चार्ज कैरियर आगत्ते हाग इदिकना P type semiconductor अंता करेंटिवी इल्ली � even the indium atom, trivalent indium atom mo, conductivity produced by the electrons and accept man kudu thay, haag agi, added trivalent impurities are called acceptors. This acceptor energy level lies at the bottom of the forbidden band or just above the valence band. Hakar n type of matthu p type semiconductor in differences hi thay. N-type semiconductor is produced when the pentavalent impurities are added to the tetravalent germanium or silicon. Whereas P-type semiconductor is produced when the trivalent impurities like aluminium, indium or gallium added to the silicon or germanium. This is first difference. 
Second one in the entire semiconductor, electrons are major discharge carriers and holes are minor discharge carriers. Whereas in the p type semiconductor, holes are the major discharge carriers and electrons are the minor discharge carriers. And third difference in the n type semiconductor, added pentavalent impurities are the donors. And its donor energy level lies at the top of the forbidden band. And in the p type semiconductor, added trivalent impurities are the acceptor. This acceptor energy level lies at the bottom of the forbidden band. And in the n type semiconductor, electrical conductivity is produced by the motion of electrons, major discharge carriers. And in the p type semiconductor, electrical conductivity is produced by the motion of the holes from positive end to the negative end. These are all differences. How can it differences between intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor? Pure state of the semiconductors are called intrinsic semiconductor and doped semiconductors are called extrinsic semiconductors. And second one, in the intrinsic semiconductor number of holes is equal to the number of electrons. Holes numbers in the valence band and electrons in the conduction band are equal. Whereas in the extrinsic semiconductor, number of holes and electrons, the electrons number and holes number are unequal. And third difference in the intrinsic semiconductor, electrical conductivity is increases in the intrinsic semiconductor by increasing the temperature. Whereas in the extrinsic semiconductor, temperature, this conductivity is increased by increasing the temperature as well as by increasing the doping concentration, added impurity material. These are all differences. What is a P-type semiconductor? When a small amount of trivalent impurity such as indium, boron or gallium is added to a pure semiconductor crystal, the resulting semiconductor crystal is called a P-type semiconductor. The diagram shows the crystal structure obtained when trivalent boron impurity is added with the pure germanium crystal. The three valence electrons of the boron atom form covalent bonds with the valence electrons of three neighborhood germanium atoms. In the fourth covalent bond, only one valence electron is available from germanium atom and there is deficiency of one electron which is called as a hole. Hence for each boron atom added, one hole is created. Since the holes can accept electrons from neighborhood, the impurity is called acceptor. The hole may be filled by the electron from a neighboring atom, creating a hole in that position from where the electron moves. This process continues and the hole moves about in a random manner due to thermal effects. Since the hole is associated with the positive charge moving from one position to another, this is called as p-type semiconductor. In the p-type semiconductor, the acceptor impurity produces an energy level just above the valence band. Since the energy band between the acceptor energy level and the valence band is much smaller, electrons from valence band can easily jump into the acceptor level by thermal agitation. In p-type semiconductors, holes are the majority charge carriers and free electrons are the minority charge carriers.